yo, what's up, baby? It's 40 from Can't Stop Art. I have to say, I like these videos that point down. You just see my hands. I can do these videos in whatever I want to wear. <laughs> anyway, so I ran into some problems. I actually did this video last week and I didn't like the result. So this is what we were going for. This is what we got. And I identified some of the problems. Plus, I went a little crazier. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, what we're going to do now and the reason it took so long to make another video, we're going to keep this uh, to the side for reference, is because to get my hands on more of these 8x10s, <laughs> it took time. With the virus and everything that's going on, shipping is not as it normally is. So, yeah, I got uh, some more of these 8x10s. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got my stencils here. I actually have some watercolor stuff here because... I am going to teach myself how to watercolor paint. <laughs> so let's score the back of this, remove the plastic, and let's get started. So I hope everybody had a good weekend. I'm sorry it took a little while to get this one going. Um, I don't, for those of you that don't know, I don't like to paint the same thing twice. Something has to be different. That's why I changed colors here, uh, because I didn't want to paint the exact same thing. This time I'm going to paint the same thing. However, I made the stencil with five layers instead of seven, so it will look different. But let's go ahead and try to achieve this, right? So the first thing is the background. I use this pink, and what I'm going to do here is let's bring this uh, over so we can bring this up a little bit, and let's put some... Well, hopefully there's enough paint here. There we go. That's for sure more than enough. And there's some more left in here. And so what I did with this background is I first I painted paint, paint. <laughs> I first I painted the pink. I let that dry. Then I mixed some pink with white. So it's really only pink uh, and then a tint of pink. And that's how I did the background. These little uh, markings there is just with uh, adding some white to the pink. So we're going to push pause on this video several times to come back after things dry. I'm not going to rush it. I rushed it on the last one and I think that was part of the problem. So, so yeah. And the, for those of you who end up liking, uh, I don't know which one's going to look better, the, the five layer or the seven layer. Um, but I can tell you that the five layer is the same process as the seven. Uh, when you select posterize in Photoshop, just make sure that you select uh, five instead of seven. Um, but other than that, I did the exact same thing. Oh, come on, baby, cover, cover, cover. There's for sure enough pain here, but I'm trying not to move it on its like little stand. All right, so that should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and press pause, let this puppy dry, we'll come back and we will hit it with the white. All right, we're back. So this is not totally dry, but that's actually okay because uh, wet on wet is okay. It's more dry than it's not. So what I did is I put some pink, some white over here. I got a little bit smaller of a brush and I'm gonna mix these two right there and also mix a little bit on the canvas. I'm gonna to try to hold this because it's not totally dry. <laughs> Maybe in this corner it looks uh, all right. And I'm gonna just make some lines, just so a uh, pattern of just vertical and horizontal lines on this. It doesn't have to be perfect and whatever, you, can, you don't have to follow this, you know? The idea is that this is subtle, actually. I'm not trying to uh, draw that much attention to this. So, something like this, maybe up in here, there's one, right? Maybe over here, down. And we don't really have to do over here because the character will go there or the main subject, the character. <laughs> She is a character. Uh, so again, something like this. Now, once I'm done with that, I can come over here and grab some of this pink paint and just put it inside to have some variations in this design. 
right? This pink paint also is uh, fluorescent, so it looks different under the black light. Now mixed with uh, white, it takes away some of those reflective properties, but by putting this over it, it adds some of it back in. And anyway, not that most people will even have a black light if you, uh, with this painting, but uh, that's okay. I could have even used a smaller brush. I did on the original, but uh, we're just uh, saving some time right here. Plus it looks all right. And what we can do also, and again, the idea is that this painting is really monochromatic, but the background is a different color for contrast. Uh, however, we're keeping the background monochromatic more or less also. We could come in here and put a few dots. That's different than the original. It makes me happy not to paint the exact same thing. You know, I, I don't know. Painting the same thing to me is boring and I try to avoid that at all costs. So excuse me if I'm, I'm, I'm veering away from exactly doing that. And you hear the sirens outside. The virus is in full effect. So I wanted zombies. What did you guys want? <laughs> All right. So let's leave this to dry. We'll be back after this dries and we will do the first layer of the silhouette. All right. So we're back. The background is dry. Even this little nubby part right there. <laughs> So, like I said, the new stencil, five layers, it's right here. I went ahead and numbered each layer. The bottom one is the layer one, which is the main, the full uh, outline of this uh, person, right? And it looks like it cut bigger than it was supposed to. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna have to make a choice here. I think what we'll have to do is line up this bottom one and do it like that. Why did this happen? Wow. Let's check, actually, let's check the other stencils and see if it's having that issue here, right? So, maybe it's because these things are not eight by 10? I guess that would be my guess. Let's measure it real quick. Or actually, let's just compare these two, right? Is this the same size? It is not, son of a gun. Look at this. It says that this one is eight by 10, but it's not. This one is. So this is like 20, a little over 20 centimeter by 25 plus. This one is 25 by a little less than 20. So the problem is these boards, wow. <laughs> How shady. Okay, so we're gonna have to make a judgment call here or redo the stencils. I think what we'll do is we'll just line up this bottom left one the best we can, and we will paint them like that. That will leave part, a top part uh, of this a little bit messed up. Let's see, something like this. Um, so we're gonna have to uh, line up the bottom left um, registration mark. You'll notice I didn't do one in that corner. And I guess it for sure didn't matter here, but look how much of a difference this is. This is quite a bit. That's at least uh, one centimeter, right? So, okay, like I said, this is five layers and the first layer will be teal mixed with black. Uh, the second layer, teal with less black and then just teal. And then uh, the final layer will be, um, or uh, the final two layers will be mixed with white. So let's get some of this teal out. Let's put this here. Let's mix some black in there. Now, whenever I uh, <laughs> grab a tube, I have a, a tool with paint on it. I put the end in my mouth so I can still work quickly. This is disappointing, man. I waited for these things for like a week and then they come and they're not even the right size. That is so crazy. Anyway. Rather than wait longer and longer, let's just try to use this. If I had known they were off, then what I could have done is made the stencil to fit, right? So, this will be our darker 
or maybe we should make it even a little darker than this, huh? So let's add some more black. All right, let's see. The, uh, the cool thing about being five layers, it will be easier to achieve um, the differences in color, right? So r rather than making uh, three dark versions of teal, we only have to make two. So, all right, so something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and I used the sponge before, but I think I'm gonna actually paint this on. Let's take maybe this. And we have to line this up the best that we can that we will be able to recreate this bottom left alignment because when we do the other ones, uh, <laughs> they all need to roughly match this, especially because they're not the right, uh, these stupid boards are not the right size. So I'm going to go ahead and worry about the edge first because then I can lift this stencil. There we go. Move my fingers down a little bit. All right. I just looked up. I said, am I recording right now? <laughs> uh, the thing is, using the sponge is better, but the sponge soaks up so much paint, so we waste so much paint. And I don't want to waste all that paint. So this looks good. Let's get right there. And now we can lift this up and paint the rest. And I'm going to move this right here out of the way. Let's take some more of this. And of course, I, I didn't paint this corner edge, but I think it went over, right? So that's fine. We're not going to worry about leaving anything there. We'll just paint it all the way through. Hopefully it went over. <laughs> now, I think I have some water here. Is there any water in here? Add a little bit of water to this brush. It's going to work a lot better. And I'm going to pick this up a, a, a smidge, right? And work that side. All right, almost done. Then we're going to press pause after I finish this and we will come back and do the next layer. I'm going to wait till it's fully dry. In the last uh, version, I think I rushed it a little bit. It wasn't always perfectly dry. And I think that amounted to some issues. I usually don't rush when I'm painting something myself, but for the tutorials, it seems like sometimes I rush them because I want, it's not that I want the tutorial to be rushed. It's that I want to get into the editing as quickly as possible. So I remember like the little things that happened during recording that I made note in my head, like, oh, speed up this part, do this. And so just to make it more fluid, right? All right, and then the last little bit right there. And it's cool, we have a bunch of extra paint over here, but that's all right because maybe we will do some accents at the end. I won't necessarily clean this palette. So there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and press pause. I will see you guys as soon as this dry and we will do the next layer. All right, so we're back. This is bothering me. <laughs> I went and grabbed, uh, uh, this is the one thing I have that has inches on it and I wanted to see how accurate this is. And look at this, this is not uh, eight inches. <laughs> and this is not 10 inches. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that's what you get, right? And it's, it's not even like these were super budget. Like, in fact, I had to order 24 of them and I wasn't even gonna paint any more in this size but I had to order 24 because that's the only thing Amazon had in stock. And the problem with getting art supplies right now is no joke, right? So anyway, we're still gonna make this work, right? It's dry. I've got my teal still here. I'll go ahead and grab the fourth uh, layer. Right, that's the number we're on. No, we're on number two. What am I talking <laughs> What order did I decide to do this in, right? So number two is here. And again, we're gonna align it in the bottom left 
and do something like that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and mix the color. I've left this color on because maybe we come back and I'm hoping it doesn't dry by the end because maybe we come back and we use it like we did here for some of these highlight with brush strokes, right? So I'm going to take some of this teal, maybe like that. All right, and a little bit of black, not too much, maybe like that. Let's see, maybe that was too much. We're about to find out. If so, we'll grab some more teal to hopefully level it out. But we do have a reference here, right? So let's go ahead and mix this up. I think we need to put a little more teal in here. So let's clean off palette knife so we can go back in the tub of paint. That sounded like there was about to be a party. Let's go back in the tub. <laughs> oh, I miss having a jacuzzi. <laughs> I swear since I moved to Spain, you know, it's weird to have a swimming pool or a jacuzzi. It's not something most people have, right? In fact, a lot of people join gyms just so they can use a swimming pool. I mean, the ocean is close, so that's nice. But, all right, let's go ahead and mix this up. Hopefully this lightens it a bit. All right, so clearly this is two different versions of teal here. And it looks probably dark enough so that the original teal won't mess with this. And that will look even different enough, right? So I'll go ahead and clean this one more time and then we'll go ahead and lay it out. All right, put that there, grab number two of the stencil, line this puppy up in the bottom left to registration mark the best we can. Also, maybe down in the bottom too, right? I'm also looking at this to see that that's uh, not aligned but it's uniform, the spacing, because that will tell me other things are aligned too. So we have this here, I'm gonna go ahead and wet this brush a tad, just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna paint wherever the stencil needs paint. Now, you could do this with spray paint, obviously. Um, if you did, you could spray some adhesive on the back of this. Uh... Now, it's important, uh, by the way, when you are painting here to press down because obviously the brush could go underneath the stencil with ease. You know what I mean? So be careful about that. And there, trying to keep some level of concentration. Come down a bit. There, there, come here. Come hither. <laughs> By a sense of humor has not increased dramatic. <laughs> I mean, I, I think I'm funny. <laughs> All right, let's come here. Try to hold that down. And I'm trying to hold near where it potentially could lift so that maybe there's less of a chance. Now, when we pick it up, we're going to check to see if there's any problem areas and potentially maybe we can fix them because we still have both colors right here. And because we're painting it on like this, it shouldn't be too thick. Come down here, almost done. And one more spot. Now, another thing that we can check when we pick this up, there we go, is we can check to see if like, maybe we made islands, right? So I see a spot right here that this one underneath, we can clean that up if we have another brush. Now we can wait for this to dry and maybe that's what we should do. Let's, let's not rush it. Let's wait for it to dry and then we'll clean it up with the darker color to wear this stencil over, it overstayed its welcome if you catch my drift. Plus other places where we made islands, we could technically connect them now if we want. So, I don't know, probably we made an island right there. So, we come in here, we can paint this like that. 
come here, down. I don't know about up there. That looks okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and press pause, let this puppy dry, then we'll clean it up, then we'll let it dry again, and we'll move on. All right, so we're back. This is more or less dry. What I'm gonna do is take this small brush. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We should probably take a paper towel in case we need it. And we're gonna come and pick up this darker color, right? Load up the brush, bring a little bit of more water in here. And we are going to fix uh, some areas where the paint went under the stencil where it shouldn't have. Now, this is obviously optional. Maybe the the look of um, grunge or or maybe you're not worried about fixing it. I don't think this step is required. We are just gonna do this because I didn't do it in the other ones and I wanna see what it looks like. So experimentation guys, yeah. So obviously if I was looking at a reference photograph, this would be better. However, I can see, uh, and I think you guys might be able to too on the camera, there's places that clearly that's where the stencil must have been. And it, it, it just looks a little bit different, right? And so coming in here, cleaning it up just a little bit, maybe coming right. That might be a cleanup, but I'm gonna leave it right there. Maybe up in here. So. Yeah, we're gonna try a few things on this pass that I didn't do on the other ones. Number one, obviously cleaning it up. Number two, fixing the islands, right? So I should have printed out to have a reference or have on my phone to look at, but instead we're just gonna use our eyes and try to see if we see anything that should be changed, modified, you know. But this is already starting to look a little cleaner. And obviously the level of cleanup that you do is entirely up to you if you do the cleanup. There we go. I don't know if that was supposed to be there. <laughs> I'm assuming this is not. So, did everybody have a good weekend? Nothing exciting over here. In fact, you know, I go through these stints where I'm motivated to paint and other stints where I'm not. And yeah, I didn't even, I have a new idea for a painting actually. And it, I'm kind of excited about it. So I should have started it on this weekend, but for some reason I wasn't motivated. So hopefully that it will start it this week. It's in relation to the, the virus. So um, it's a piece that, um, that basically uh, brings up some of the irony around some of the things happening with the virus and so forth. So I think this looks uh, quite a bit cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this brush, press pause, let it dry, then we'll move on to the next step. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, so we're back. It looks like this is more or less dry. Um, let's move on to the third one, uh, the third layer. The third layer is just pure um, teal. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this teal right here. We're gonna put it right there. That's probably enough. I'll go ahead and close this. And voila. Number three, I think is in the bottom right here. Let's go ahead and turn this over. Now it's getting a little more fragile if you see in the stencil. So let's be very careful. All right, bottom left, we are going to align first. After we align that, we're gonna look up here, try to make that kind of the distancing even. That's, that's how I'm deciding to align this, right? For each one. And if I keep it consistent, it should more or less work, right? <laughs> more or less. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush. I'm gonna wet this a tad. I should clean the palette knife, we'll do that after. I'm gonna grab some of this uh, teal and let's come in here. And I'm painting the table, it looks like. <laughs> That's okay. It's not the first time. So that's that. Let's keep it moving. There we go. 
go. All right. You know, it's interesting. I swear, when I don't, uh, when I'm not doing a tutorial, I, just, I never run into the amount of problems <laughs> that seem to happen with these tutorials. It's amazing. So right here, I'm going to be careful. I'm painting, pushing down to keep that piece from moving, hopefully, and paint not going underneath. We'll see how well this stencil stays. In. It's This stencil is a little more delicate than the previous ones. Let's see if paint's going where it shouldn't. We will know when we pick it up. But hopefully, it's staying, right? That's the purpose. Way easier when you spray a stencil. There we go. Let's move the fingers down a bit. Grab some more paint. Come here. I'm kind of disappointed in this whole size situation with this um, these canvas boards. You know, I was uh, I took a few days to decide whether I was going to order them because I didn't really want 24 of these things. And I'm like, all right, screw it. I'll just do more tutorials with this size. And I I just thought, you know, I don't want to do uh, eight by ten canvas boards unless somebody is asking for it specifically because the idea is they should be able to sell some of these uh, tutorial pieces right and um i just thought eight and a half or eight by ten is too small so i finally buy it and it turns out that these stupid uh, boards are not even the right size <laughs> they are smaller than eight by ten however marketed as eight by ten which I guess I could return it now, minus this <laughs> board. But um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so almost done here. And then we can see how much the paint went under the stencil, where it shouldn't have gone. Looks like it's, yeah, I don't know, I want to jinx it. It seems like it's staying where it needs to go. But you never know, right? Come here. I don't know if pushing down like that with the brush is a good idea. It's probably pushing the bristles in there, but okay, let's see. Pick this puppy up. Oof, and we got a piece of the sensor right there. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can fix this. There's an X-Acto blade here, turn this. I think some of that paper is still left. Hmm. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I think the reason I have problems during the tutorials is because this way it helps you guys. <laughs> you see me deal with the problems and the solutions I come up with, and that is makes it even more educational, right? <laughs> All right, so stealing a little bit of water, clean the table a little bit. I might have to get some cleaner. Ah, that's good. All right, let's throw this away. Here we go. We're gonna press pause. We are gonna dry this. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna touch it up and then we'll move forward. All right, so we're back. It's more or less dry. The reason I don't wanna wait any longer is because I need to clean these, this brush and uh, palette. Palette knife. So I'm going to take this smaller brush and we're going to start with this color in the touch up and we're going to load it up a little bit, add a little bit of water, spin it around. Now, one of the things that you may have noticed uh, before is uh, the paper got stuck, right? And so what I noticed in trying to remove that paper in certain spots, uh, it didn't want to. And I'm going to show you a spot real quick. In fact, what we just painted over had a little bit of... Uh, paper. Uh, right here in the bottom of this eye, there's a little bit of paper. And I tried to pick up the paper right there and it didn't want to pick up. So instead of picking it up, I'm just going to paint over it and it's going to become part of the painting. <laughs> I think that will make it a better fix. And yeah, so let's see, maybe right there. All right, whoops, way too much paint right there. Um, so 
So instead of just uh, blabbering, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this and we'll speed it up later so you're not bored watching me touch this up. All right, so I'm going to gently or lightly clean this small brush and we've moved to the darker color for cleanup. This doesn't have to be that clean. Remember, we are sticking with the same color, it's just with more black. So, some water, here we go. All right, so we're done cleaning up. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these brushes and I'll be right back. Yo, so this thing's dried a little bit. I put some uh, teal and some white over here. The idea is that the next color will be teal mixed with a little white, then a lot of white mixed with a little teal for the final. So let's mix this up, see how it looks. And of course we have the reference on our palette of the original teal. We might want to add a little bit more white to this. Mm, yeah, maybe a little bit more white. So I'll put this down, I'll grab the white over here and we'll put a little bit more white. There we go. I dropped this tube in the paint. <laughs> uh, all right, so mix this puppy up. Looking good, looking good. And I'm using a different palette. I still have the palette with the other paints right here. Even though the paint's drying, we may be able to add some water and use it if we need to, to take some of that. So let's double check, make sure that this is dry. It is. So this is the fourth layer of our stencil. We're gonna go ahead and match up the bottom left. Registration mark, boom. Something like that. Then we are going to come to the top left and just match the spacing, also the left side of it. And even though some of this stencil is over, it is what it is. We're gonna take this brush, get it a little wet, come and take some of this paint there we go. It shouldn't be as wet as I just made it, unfortunately, because that will make the paint underneath the canvas or underneath the stencil a little more cray cray, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I just want this uh, tutorial to come out good. I do not want to do it again. <laughs> Painting on the table right there. Come here. All right. Got to be careful right here because the stencil wants the lift, I feel. So just gently bring the, the brush with the paint and gently here. Come on, get in that corner, baby. You got it. All right. So it does, even though this is, I don't think the paint's touching that corner. Grab a little bit more paint, paint right there. Grab a little more paint, paint this. Have to be careful right here, it wants to lift. I feel it, don't do it baby, please. Let's come out beautiful. Our friends on YouTube want a beautiful finished product just as I do. There we go. All right, so let's lift this puppy up. Hopefully that doesn't stick too much. <laughs> All right, so I see some issues. While it's still wet, because we're just going to paint with the same color, let's grab some water here. There we go. All right. I'm trying to pick up the excess paint on the side of this. All right, so let's wet the brush a little bit. I wanna fill in certain areas, like this is not as solid as a color as it should be. So let's come in here. Come right there. Starting to look good though, I think. Let's, hopefully the final product is gorgeous. that. The 
This is also cleaning up some of this, even though we still need to dry it, come in and pick it, and then clean up some areas that it went where it shouldn't. I'm just right now trying to darken, not darken, but some of the areas where I painted this, it didn't uh, go as uniform as I wanted it to. So that's what I'm doing right now. Didn't need that much paint. Come on, get out of here. Bah. Come over here. It almost looks like it was um, dab, dab, dab with a sponge. That wasn't the goal. So I think we're going to leave that like that, maybe. Come up here. And I think we're going to let it dry before we do these next couple cleanups. I don't know if that's this color or not, but okay. Plus, we are going to decide to put some lines where we feel it will accentuate the painting a little better. Let's put that there. Okay, so I'm going to clean these brushes. I'll come back and we will touch this puppy up. Hey, guys, I'm back. I think, well, I don't know if this is dry. Let's hit it one more time. Doesn't have to be that dry. I'm trying to hit lines with the darker uh, color here. So I reach back, I grab this palette that has the darker color. I'm gonna load up the, the smaller brush. There we go, with some bunch of water. Try to get this paint moving a little better. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna try to fix certain areas. So I'm just trying to clean up some of the areas where paint has gone that it shouldn't have gone. And I'm going to speed this up in post, so I'm going to stop talking. And I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we did a little bit of touch up. We still may do a little more, but let's move to the final piece. I'm gonna grab some of this teal with the palette knife, just actually a little bit. And we're gonna put it right there, maybe a hair more. And we're gonna add a bunch of white. So this will be the lightest color, our highlight color. And we are going to do or paint more than the stencil actually has because we're gonna add our own highlights in there. So let's see how it comes out. So this, uh, something to note, this uh, paint in the tub and this paint have two different levels of viscosity or thickness. The one in the tub is much more, uh, uh, it's thicker than the paint that's in the tube. So. I can add way more of the paint in the tube compared to what's in the tub. So let's add a little bit more. There we go. Maybe that's too much, but that's probably gonna be all right. So and then I need to clean these pallets. <laughs> uh, the only problem with this is you don't really know how much paint it's gonna take. And for sure, each time I've used too much, but before when I did this uh, tutorial and it didn't work out, I didn't use enough paint. So I didn't want to run into that same problem. And so now I've used too much paint and yeah. <laughs> so let's clean this up real quick. There we go. So palette knife down, grab this brush. It's a little damp, but that's, that's good. So let's just add just a hair bit more water. We'll rest it on top of this uh, water thing. Double check that this is dry. Yeah, it's dry. So, whoops. Yeah. All right. So bottom left is what we are going to align this with. Top left, a little alignment happening. And we are going to take this brush with this super light color and we're going to come here and we are going to paint. There we go. Put 
there we go. Missed a spot right there. And down there. All right, that's all that this stencil said that we should do. And ugh, that does not look pretty right there. However, we are going to fix it. Let's get this puppy drying. I'm gonna press pause, dry it. We'll be back and we'll start doing the final touch-ups to bring this piece together. Hey guys, so we're back and uh, let's decide what we're going to do here. I'm rearranging the palettes. I'm gonna take a paper towel here and uh, something to note, right? Some of the things that you see here, right? This is clearly an island, right? It didn't actually need to be there. So we could actually uh, paint over that. This is the second to lightest color. It's over here. We can uh, fix that island if we want. I think maybe even right there, fix that, fix that. We need to do something to make the lips clear. Another important note is this is a girl. So girls always look uh, better with thin lines and less, less is more. There are way too many lines going on in here. However, actually let's switch these palettes because I think we're gonna do the second to lightest color. First, I'm gonna grab some water here, grab some of this color. Come on, baby, come on. All right, so. What we're going to do is start cleaning this up. So I think that, that this island doesn't have to be there. So I'm gonna paint over it. And this actually might take it to dry once and to re-dry again. I think I might even paint over that part right there. We might come down in here and get rid of this. Now this, I don't think those are the same colors, right? This is the lighter and that's the regular turquoise. So I'm just gonna close that. Next, we are going to come and try to fix this right here. We need a lot more water over here. Come right there. This is not a right or wrong thing. Right now, the touch up is how we're gonna make this thing finalized right so it's entirely up to you you can add more lines you can add less i think uh, feminine qualities always equate to less lines is better and thinner lines they always look better right so here i think the paint went way too far in so i'm trying to fix where that is we might hit it with the heat gun in a second to kind of get a feel for the way it's looking. Come right here. This could be smaller maybe. And I think we do something with the lips here in a second, but let's keep moving forward. This looks like a piece of paper. That's pretty cool. So let's see if we can pick that up. So I don't know, maybe this, uh, I should have used acetate film instead of paper. And maybe that would have made things uh, cleaner, better here. I don't know. So let's, um, well, again, this is all to personal taste, huh? So right in there. And uh, I think we won't use this color to do other highlights like in the brim of the hat right here in the jacket. Maybe what we'll do is just the highlight color. And I think, um, yeah, so there. Let's go ahead and uh, take some of this excess paint off the brush. Let's switch these palettes. I wanna grab the darker color now or the darkest color. So let's come over here, bring this glob of paint with tons of water to rehydrate this paint. Come on, baby, wake up. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna fix these little extra blobs. Because I think that paint ran where it shouldn't run. Like people being let out after being in lockdown for X amount of time. I got jokes. There we go, something like that. Come down in here. Maybe this comes like this. Go over that line one more 
time. Now we gotta make some choices in the face because I think the mouth, right? I think this is the mouth here. So maybe what we will do is, maybe we shape it a little bit like a mouth because maybe the stencil didn't look as mouth-ish. Do something like that. Now that's not for sure not perfect. And then here, this is uh, the, coming down to the nose area and I don't know exactly, but I'm just gonna curve this up like that to signify maybe that's the nose-ish nose -ish area. Next, let's come down. Hmm. Maybe add another line right there. Let's see. Maybe we need something. And uh, purposefully making these look like brush strokes, it makes it look more like a painting, right? So this come like that. And also giving this some, I don't know, if, what would it be called? A freehand look, right? We twist the brush off quick, you know. And let's see, this comes up like that. Like this, let's get some more water. And this is hair, right? We can do something like this because we know that this is supposed to be her hair. There we go. No perfection. We're not worried about that. Let's fix up in here. We need to take some of this paint off. We're going to go to this, the straight teal now. Take some water. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to cover some of this. Maybe in there. Something like that. I think some of this darkness, the, the darker color is mixed with that teal. So this is, <laughs> unfortunately, you're gonna have a different tone right here. So I'm gonna try to go over it again. Maybe lighten it up a little bit. And come down there. Now let's go ahead and grab some of the lighter color. Switch palettes, bring this down, grab some dirty water. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna cut corners, but here I am using dirty water, right? Awesome. So let's come in here and make this a little more circular here. Let's, inside here, the color is not uniform. So let's try to fix that. right there. And now let's hit some highlights, right? Grab some more water, a little more water. So, and I'm using this other one as a reference as I'm getting more paint on my hands. So up here in the brim, let's paint something coming down. like this, maybe another line there, something like that. Those are really light brush strokes, not a lot of paint on it. Then let's give her like almost a brow, if you will, not a brow, but something to, oh, there's a lot of water there that should dry up. Let's come down in here and add some, some curvature to this close. Grab some more paint. Come up in here, grab some more water and let's
Just adding some strange uh, highlights, no rhyme or reason here. It's creating contrast also in the piece, which is nice. And so let's see, do we want anything else? Maybe another, a couple movement lines in her cheek that are quite bright. Something like that. Something up here for her brow. Let's make this lighter. Boom. Again, hitting these eyes one more time. Something like that. Let's add a highlight for the lips. Where are we going to hit this highlight? Maybe inside, huh? Like her mouth is just a little bit open. Now, maybe a little dot right there. I think we just need one more highlight on this side and we'll call it done, huh? So maybe, I don't, this is supposed to be hair, right? If I remember. So it's supposed to be, or it is. <laughs> so something like that, maybe even. All right, so let me grab a marker, we'll sign it, we'll call this puppy done and I'll share my final thoughts. Same as the other one, we're gonna sign in the bottom left corner, just because here it's a little bit busy. And uh, yeah. All right, so what do you guys think? It's amazing, I really like the test piece I did the best. <laughs> I feel like it came out the best and I ignored certain things. I didn't cut islands in this one uh, to preserve certain spaces. And when I did the touch-ups, I didn't follow rhyme or reason. And it, uh, yeah, I think it came out the best. This uh, for sure the second best, this one the worst. <laughs> So, get out of here. <laughs> what do you guys think? What is your favorite and why? Did you guys enjoy this tutorial? Did I overdo it in the background here? Should I not have added these white dots? Maybe a few less uh, fixes and highlights here would have been better. Um, yeah, overall, this was a fun project. I think uh, challenging yourself to work monochromatically is definitely interesting. Maybe I should try more paintings in this realm that are not just of a particular subject and maybe including doing the background that way. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned a little something uh, from this tutorial. If you did and you enjoyed it, please share it with your friends. That helps out immensely. Until next time, guys, I'm out.